Thanks, Paul. Now, two young musicians last night were awarded Samra's overseas scholarship to study further classical and jazz music at tertiary institutions of their choice abroad. Wow. Now, two artists were chosen from a group of 23 that were chosen from different corners across the country. The Scene Overseas Scholarship Competition is on its 50th year. Now, joining me in studio is Mori Montier and Vuyo Satashi. Welcome to uh, We Can Live. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. Mori, let's start with you. Uh, has it sunk in the outcome and the result of last night? Not really, no. <laughs> Not at all, actually. <laughs> and for you, Vuyo? Jeez, um, we've been awake the whole night. Yes. Actually, we haven't been able to sleep, so uh, I think... Uh, I think being here actually kind of makes it sink in a bit. Like makes more. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. How are you guys yeah. feeling, Moni? How are you feeling? It was I a big competition last night. Yes, time. very, very big. I've still got butterflies in my stomach. Yeah. And I'm still excited. As you said, we couldn't sleep last <laughs> night. Um, yeah. Adrenaline's still pumping and going. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, how are you feeling? Has the nerve settled? You said it, the reality is sinking in now, but yeah. what was the feeling like last night, your, hearing your name? Yeah, like. Um, the, the whole event was really big. I mean, it was Sam Rowe's 50th, you know, and, and getting, being given the honor to perform and, and compete for the award for this year, you know, and, and also having the opportunity to sing in front of um, our former president, um, Tabum Bey. Yeah. Like, that was a, yeah. a huge honor. Like, it's crazy even thinking about it right it now. Yeah. So. Mori, now, yeah. before we, off air, we talked about what do you think made you stand out? And you were talking about there was, you had your nerves under control, but what were the other elements that you think put you as the front runner, for, at least for the judge, in the judge's opinion, as the ultimate winner eventually? Well, um, I just sang my heart out and ultimately that's what you can do and just, mm. I, we practiced a lot and rehearsed a lot and hard work and also I want to be a representative of Samro and Talbum Baker was there as well as yeah. you mentioned, so yeah, it was just wonderful. And, yeah. Yeah. Is there an factor for you, Vuyo? Jeesh, um, all of the singers that were, that were selected for the final were amazing. Like each and every one of them had something amazing, specific, you know, and different about them. So I think like just, just being chosen is an honor. I, I, I don't know what specifically, we all sang our hearts out. We tried to connect with the crowd and we were the lucky ones, I guess, you yes. know, out of the amazing singers. Let, so. let, me, let me throw that, a question at you. What was the journey like? leading up to last night. I mean, there was 23 yeah. chosen from across the country. Yeah. You're the ultimate winner. What was their journey like from the very first audition all Jeez. the way through? Yeah, um, the, the competition actually has three phases. Um, mm. You have uh, the qualifying round where we send in our recordings of ourselves and, and they sift through all of the recordings that they receive and then they choose six from each category. And then there's an intermediate round which happened on Thursday, um, yeah. the 1st of September. And we just sing, like, <laughs> you sing, your brains <laughs> out, your yes. heart out, you sweat Everything. To, get, to get to the final. And they choose the final. We don't know what the specific criteria is. We just know that we need to sing our hearts. Yeah. There's also prescribed peace. Yes. Yeah. Supposed yes. to sing. Yeah. And your journey, yeah. what was your journey like from the first recording you sent in? Oh, very emotional yeah. and also it's a lot of our friends that yeah. were you know some yeah. of the competitors Jeez. and yeah it was also nice to have the support last night yeah um, yes just often when we read about this competition it's been described as a life-changing moment a defining moment uh, in an artist's not only career but in terms of what happens next mm -hmm. how do you feel about that I'm excited <laughs> I am very, very excited and I can't wait to start. Mm. Have yes. you chosen the institution you're going to go and study at? Yes, um, I want to go and study um, in London, Guildhall. Yes. Life-changing moment for you, has that, yeah. that, has that actually sunk in the fact that this is a defining moment? Jeez, this is, I think people have known for years that the Samro International Scholarship is like a, a huge door that c can open for a, a young musician who wants to go study abroad, so like, I, I mean, being chosen to be one of the six finalists was like a huge honor yes. already. I mean, and that's, it sunk in, like it sunk in already, you know, but winning it is like yeah, another level, that's just, like yeah. receiving it, yeah. Now, you're heading to Manhattan. Yes, yes, yeah, hopefully. I still need to uh, uh, graduate from UCT first term. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the dream. That's the short-term dream to go study um, at the Manhattan School of Music. Yeah. What, what, info, what was the reason that you decided to go to, to the London, to use your two years of your scholarship and, and move to London? Um, the type of music that's in London and also the contacts and I want to represent South Africa. Mm. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, come on now. Yeah. And for you? Um, 
most of the teachers or most of the musicians that I look up to are actual teachers at the Manhattan School of Music. Uh, um, I don't know if you've, know, you've heard of New York Voices. Yeah. Like the founders of New York Voices are, are lecturers, are active lecturers and active and current artists, you know, in the, in the music scene in New York. So it was like a given, you know, I'd really love to go. But I, I, I always believe in South Africa, you know, like you go there, you study and come back and bring it to South Africa and try and kind of grow. Now you guys can't yeah. stop smiling, but let's go back to last <laughs> night uh, very quickly before the start of that competition yeah. and you guys were going through your, your preparations. I mean, what was that for you? I mean, you've, as, he, as we were saying, there was this, these three rounds. It was the final one. Former President Tamo Becky was there. Your mm. family was there. There was just so many people. Mm. Yeah, um, a lot of pressure. Um, it was a very a hard mental struggle and a hard big block to mm. get over and get on the stage and just tell yourself, I can do this. Yeah. You know, um, I have it in me. Um, I have this talent. Mm. I need to show it to the world. The nerves is not going to get in the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just how it's going to be. So you took the moment, by the way. Yes. <laughs> nice. And for you, I mean, building up to last night, I'm yeah. sure a lot of preparation goes into yeah, that. A lot of time working yes. through your set, making mm. sure your word perfect. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, <laughs> Oh, well, the, the, it was like a race to impress the judges, you know, like you, you had to get your stuff down, you had to learn everything and make sure that you're comfortable, even with the nerves, yes. you know, that you're confident with pieces that you're going to be doing and you're confident in yourself doing what you're doing on stage and yeah, it, it's a flip. For, for, a, for a musician, it's, it's a huge journey, I mean, like performing in that, on that stage, it's like crazy. Is it a fair question to ask, Amanda? Let me ask you yeah. first, Will, why jazz? Why there's so that? many popular genres. I mean, you're, you're very young. Yeah. Can, there's uh, so many genres that people are listening to. Why jazz? Jeesh, um, I think it's an acquired taste for me. <laughs> and also, um, I mean, jazz is, is an improvisational music. And, and there's so much freedom, like from, from learning the language and, and then being given the opportunity to create your own music. I mean, it's, it's, it's different to classical, where classical has an age-old tradition and you, like, you learn songs that were written years and centuries ago mm. and they still hold that same, but you, you, you have the freedom to create. And, and, and yeah, I think that's, that's why I chose jazz, yeah. And for you, yeah. Mori? I love being um, the vehicle um, mm. between the composer and the audience. Yeah. I love um, mixing my ideas with the composer's yeah. ideas and giving the emotion through to the audience yeah. so that they can experience what the composer was thinking years and years back. Yeah. And it's still, you know, valid today. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. yeah, that's amazing. What's the biggest life lesson as a musician? Obviously taking this forward into eventually what will become a full-time career for you. The biggest life lesson you've learned in this competition, this scholarship uh, competition? Not to take anything for granted mm. and always put your best foot forward. Yeah. Mm. And for you? Jeez, um, that you know, like a musician builds an audience when, when the audience feels like you're connecting with them. You know, so like as a musician, as whatever, if you play whatever instrument, if you're a singer, if you're a trumpeter, if you can tap into the emotional and the reality of your audience or whoever, how big, however big it may be, I mean, you've won mm. in that sense. I think that was like the big thing for most of the jazz and even, yeah. even the classical guys. If you, can, if you can make them feel like they understand <laughs> you or you understand them in your performance. Best advice you got during this competition from either judge or family member? Mm. Oh, wow. Did you get so much advice? Uh, yeah, we heard so much. Yeah. Um, mm. Was it a difficult one for you? It's Let me ask you very quickly. Me, obviously, yeah. uh, yeah, there's a scholarship going now. You still have to finish UCT. You're going to go to London, but that's only in September. Mm. Is there plans along the line to bring out an album? Do you think you're, you're good enough to bring out an album now? Sheesh. I'm going to sing in an opera. That's okay, so you've got to work. <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, in Den Führung aus dem Israel, that's nice. next, Blondchen. And then um, finish my honours at UCT next year, and then next year, September, go to study overseas abroad. Yeah. Again, okay, for you? I think for me it's still a growing process. <laughs> I still need to grow as a musician. I'm still studying. I'm in my third year still. So. Okay. And yeah, it's, it's, it's a journey, but I'm amped. Um, Guys, we, we wish you all the best of luck and congratulations on your win Thank for last you. night. And of course, uh, that's the winners of Samus Overseas Scholarship Competition, which concluded last night. It's the two musicians I was talking to, the winner in the classical category, um, uh, Mori Monter, and of course in the jazz can, uh, category was Vuyo Satashi. And of course, we'll uh, watch and see what the future holds for them. With that, uh, we'll take a short break. We'll be back after this.